Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and uh, I want to apologize. I'm a little bit nasally this morning, a little congested. Uh, but I wanted to shoot a video because I had a customer ask me about setting up a basic, doing a basic video on the overview of Socrates. They watch my videos, but they still had some questions. So I'm shooting this uh, for people that just want a little basic primer on getting started. So let's just say you've installed Socrates, right? So it's in the theme area and it's activated. And you've also installed the Socrates Toolkit plugin and that's activated. Uh, if you have gone into the poster page editor, maybe you don't recognize the Gutenberg editor, which is a different editor that just came out last year. Uh, and most people like the classic editor. So if you can install the classic editor plugin, which overrides the Gutenberg editor. And that's available in plugins, add new, and you can find it here, classic editor, just install and activate, and you'll have the classic editor. So that's typically what you need from the basic to get started with uh, with setting up a site. So uh, I'm gonna look at this website. This is what it looks like out of the box with Socrates. You get your title. There's a blank navbar because there's no menu. Uh, there's one default post. There's uncategorized categories, and then there's the default widgets in the sidebar. So this is what it looks like on a new install on any web host with Socrates theme installed. So the first thing I'm going to do just visually is I'm going to assign a menu here. So there's no primary menu. So I'm going to go into Appearance and Menus, and I'm going to make a primary menu. I'm just going to name it Primary Menu and click on Create Menu. And then I'm just going to add in, for now, I'm going to add in the sample page. You just click it and click on Add to Menu. And then you add a display location. So I want, to, I want that display in the primary menu bar. And I'm going to click on Save. And now when I reload that, you're going to see there's a menu here, right? It says Sample Page. There's other menu locations as well. So I can add it to the top bar. I can add it to the footer if I wanted to and click on Save. And then if I reload that, you're going to see it's also up here. And it's also down here. And you can create additional menus and assign menus wherever you want, right? Now the next thing I'm going to do just to clean stuff up is this is called uncategorized. So one of the, one of the first things I do is I go into uh, posts and categories, and I will typically rename this. I usually call it like news or general. So I'm just going to say general. I'm just going to type right over this general, and then lowercase general, and click on update category. And now when I reload this, the post is going to say it's in the general category. So that's kind of how that works. And then for customization, of, well, you know what, while we're here, a lot of people th think they don't want the posts here, they want to have a page here. So say, for example, you want the sample page to be the home page, or let's just make a new page called home page. I'm going to go in and go add new, and I'm going to make a page called home page. And I'm going to use the Socrates toolkit to just add in some, some uh, basic content here. And I'm going to click on Publish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page called Blog. And I'm going to leave it blank. And I'm going to publish that. And now I'm going to go into Settings, Reading. And I'm going to click on a static page, Home page, Post page. I want it to be Blog. And then I click on Save Changes. And now when I do that, I reload. And you're going to see this says Home page. I'm on the Home page. There's the, no other directories, the Home page, right? And now, now I need to add blog to the menus, right? So I can go to Appearance and Menus, and I'm going to click on Blog and add it here, and click on Save. And now when I reload, you'll see Sample Page and Blog, and this is what shows all my posts. Make sense? So then I have, so this basically gives me the ability to, to change the, the main page. If I click on this, it's going to go to the main page as well. Um, Sorry, I should have clicked that. That's different. Uh, this is this is the home page. I, I didn't put a home uh, page icon up here. And if I wanted to have this be full width, I could do it. I could go in here and click Edit, and I could make this full width. Click on Update, and now we're going to see this home page. Now the other thing I he, the other this customer mentioned adding in different sections and different uh, templates and things like that. I have a lot of different codes on the uh, on the Socrates website. This is an example of a a sections template. Uh, that has all these like pre-built codes in here, and so what these things are, these are basically these are basically two column, uh, two column areas, right? So if I go in here and I go back to this page, and I want to make a two column layout, right, like that, I can do that. Let's just say I want to copy this code. I'm just going to copy this, copy. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to paste it like that 
and see this image I'm actually gonna uh, open this in a new tab I'm gonna copy this just for this is just for for show here and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click on add media and I'll insert from URL like this click on insert page and now I'm gonna click on update and when I do that I then have a left column with a, this and I have the graphic there I can go back if I want to and I can center this and I'm gonna drop that down a little bit and I'm gonna make this um, an H2 and now I click on update again and now I have this and I have uh, you know random checklist graphic and I have the big image on the right so that's just a quick example how you can add columns you know maybe you want to have a big call to action button at the bottom of the page so I can go down here uh, and I can just put my cursor at the bottom and I'm gonna grab a big button here I'll grab a ghost button that's huge and I'm gonna align it to the center right and then I'm gonna say order now and then uh, this would be where the link is, href equals. So depending on what the link is, one trick is you want to add this link in text mode. So I'll go to text mode, and I could just type in, uh, you know, SocratesTheme.com. And this is target equals new, so it's a new window. Click on update, and now when I click on this, I scroll down the bottom, and I have a button here that goes to Socrates theme like that. Uh, so that is how you do a two columns and then you do an order button. So very quick, uh, basic thing to do an order button. Now, on the customer area, I also have all kinds of different call to action widgets. So there's all kinds of different buttons and codes here, right? So say, for example, that I want to add in um, this code here, right? I can click on this little link here and it gives me the code and I can copy that. And I can go back to this template again. I can click on edit page if I want. And I could just add this right to the top. I can also hide the title and click on update. And then I have this little banner right here, which is actually a parallax, which is kind of cool. There's some text, there's two columns. So that's kind of how you do this stuff. You can also use this same code in a, in a top banner widget. So Socrates has top banner widgets. So I could go in here to widgets. I could drop this same code in this like that and I could say show on show if page is let's say the sample page click on save now I'm gonna go back to the site reload and I click on this and now I have a whole different look see that I added it to the top banner widget here so that creates a nice little call to action in the top banner of only the sample page so that's a little trick there as well so let's talk a little bit about just the uh, branding the header, right? So we have the basic site, we have the navigation, we have some content. Uh, any post you add is gonna be added to the blog. So if I went in here and added a new post, and I could say this is a new post, and I'm just gonna add in some lorem content again. Where'd it go? Uh, lorem content, and I can just click the general category. I can add a tag, I can say, uh, you know, lorem ipsum whatever uh, opsum who cares uh, click on add and I click on publish now I go back and this is what the new post looks like and I click on blog this is the latest post that's the next post right okay so let's go to customize so this is where you would change the header area so if you're just getting started I always want people to focus on content so if you don't have a big header graphic yet you don't need a big header graphic um, you can just change your site identity so you could say my example site if I could type um, and you could change your subheadline you know this is my subheadline and you can display or choose different things you can change you can center this if you want right um, if you want to change the color you can go to colors and you could change the uh, header background color so I can make it red I got a nice bright red I can make it orange right if I want to change this top menu I could change this top menu color here so this is the uh, where it goes top bar menu background so I can make that red if I wanted to so you can change all these colors you can change the main 
uh, navigation colors here. Here's the navigation background. So if I wanted to, I could make that black and I could make the text white. So you can do all these things just using the color stuff. If you wanted to use an image in the background, you could just go in here to header image and you can click add head, new image and you can upload files. I can select a file from my, uh, let's go to my placeholder images here. Hold on a second here. I've got a different a bunch of uh, images. I'm just going to grab this blackstone granite. I can grab this, click on select and crop, crop image, and now I have this like stone uh, image in the background, right? So there's all kinds of things you could do with different images and so forth. But that's kind of an overview of just getting started with Socrates. So the main focus should be on just your initial branding, assigning a menu, and creating content. And if you want to have a page on the home page, you can do this here. We have lots of different sample codes. I'm sorry, I keep, I keep expecting that to be the home page. We have lots of different sample codes. You can just copy and paste and remember error. So we have all these different call to action banner widgets, for example. And then we have all the different short codes uh, that are in the toolkit plugin. And they're also on here. So these are all the different short codes that let you do all kinds of different columns and so forth. So that's basically it. But the main thing to get going is just start writing content. Make sure you have your pages. Make sure you have post content. Without pages and post content, there's no sense in building a website in the first place. So uh, start with content. It's much easier to design a website when you have the content. So I hope this was helpful.